Hi, this is Isabel Litzler, Play at HC, the place to be to develop your skills and grow your potential. So today's topic is what if everything I was told about my career is a lie? So it sounds a little bit provocative, but uh, I think it will be helpful. And again, this is very well adapted to the Swiss context because I consider Switzerland as part of the Western uh, culture. And to some extent, I would say those principles apply in, in any country in the Western world. So there's four areas where I think a lot of people don't have the right representation. And I want to, to change that a little bit with this video to try to give you a little bit more information based also on my experiences and what I've seen in the career and in the workforce. So those four things are studies, fields that are hiring, mobility, and work-life balance. So the first one is studies. Everyone tells you more studies is better, go to college, go to get degree, which to some extent is a good thing. I mean, you do want education. I think it's, uh, it's something that can, that can be valued, but you have to get the right education. And that's where maybe you were not oriented towards the right thing. So the market changes very quickly. Uh, now we're really into the IT and the digital world. So you have to be careful about what you study to make sure it's always relevant with the workplace. So if you go do extensive courses in a, I always use this example of middle age uh, philosophy or something that's not really going to help you get a high paying job. Uh, it's going to make it difficult for you. So you have to separate your hobbies or maybe what you love. And you can love philosophy. And you know, I love philosophy. Or you can love uh, languages and, I don't know, culture and things like that and, and do it on your own. But it's not necessarily what's going to pay you, at least not immediately. You know, you can have it as a hobby, but it's not necessarily going to bring you the salary you need to pay your bills. So think about what the market needs right now, you know, what's in demand and really focus your studies based on that. So that's the number one lie I think people are told is do what you love, study what you love. Well, you have to balance that with the needs of the market. Otherwise, you're going to be someone who's going to struggle for the same jobs as everyone else in a very tiny niche and not really be successful. So think about where the market needs are and how close you can, uh, you can get to that need. Number two is um, the fields that are hiring. So I think there's also a little bit of a misconception about fields that are hiring. You have to pay close attention to uh, the local place where you are uh, applying for jobs. Maybe even different regions within the same countries need different things. So uh, you might think at some point, yeah, you know, um, I become a webmaster. Webmaster is really hot right now. Or I do SEO or... You know, it's, it's the new thing. Well, everyone is going also to do these things because it's the hot thing on the market. And maybe in six months, it's no longer the case. So really pay close monitoring attention to the fields hiring where you want to work and something that's also sustainable for the long term. So find your thing that you're also adding value. So it could be SEO and it could be social media or whatever, but bring your little little. Uh, extra talent to that so that you're not going to be one amongst the others. So the fields that are hiring, yes, social media, digital right now is hiring in Switzerland and every place in the world. But everyone also goes for that same thing. And I would say with a mediocre to very average type of skill set. So this is your where you're going to make a difference is don't believe that because you did social media that that's it, you're all the job. You're going to have to build your proper uh, experience and skill set so that you're someone of value for a company. So that's number two. Number three on mobility. You know, I just wrote a blog about exportable or portable careers. Uh, what you need to do, what kind of fields are more portable than others. So, you know, if you're told, well, do whatever you like, you know, and, and follow your passions, but you want to be someone that travels the world, that maybe works in different countries, no one told you that you will have issues with the local market, that your degree will be worthless in the country you're moving to, especially if it's in a field where there's diplomas that are very localized. And I talk about uh, the example of if you're a, a medical doctor, for example, you know, be very prepared of where you want to live because there might be some diploma differences. So really think about how mobile you want to be in your career early on. You know, because it's going to make it difficult later on to change gears. You know, if you follow a partner, for example, or if you uh, want to live in a different country, you know, think about that early on and adapt your career. 
So it's not something that's going to be easy to do. So the mobility part is not as easy as the media would like us to believe, you know, you know, pick up your bag and travel the world. Yeah, it sounds easy on the surface, but it's not. Uh, there's uh, the local culture, there's the local job market, etc. And finally, the work-life balance. So, of course, we're told we can do everything that we want. We can work full-time, have families. Uh, yeah, you can do anything you want. The sky is the limit. Well, the reality is a little bit different. And you've probably noticed by now, you know, if you have children, you can probably work full-time. If you work full-time, you need a nanny. So it's always the catch-22, you know, what's the best one? So I think one of the lies also that we're told is that you can do anything that you want. And yet in the uh, application of it, it doesn't work. So I think, you know, rather than to tell people you can do whatever you want, the message should be choose what you want to do. So maybe at some part in your career, you're going to want to be a mom and that's okay and that's full time. And then at another part of your life, you're going to want to be more a career person. And then you just switch gears a little bit. But to think you can do everything and be full time mom, full time career and full time this, it's just not happening. There's only so many hour, hours during the day. So think more about your, your uh, focus and your priorities, you know, what you want in this particular stage of your life and adapt to that. Otherwise, you're going to be very disappointed, very frustrated. I have people who are extremely frustrated because I, they realize that uh, there's no such uh, easy fix, you know, of, yeah, I can work, you know, three hours during the day and uh, have a great salary and close to home. And it's just not happening. I think if you want the high salaries with a lot of responsibilities, probably those jobs are 50 plus hours a week minimum and they require a lot of investment, also a lot of mobility. Uh, you have to put your personal life aside. And I've been there as well. Well, I traveled weekends to get to a city for Monday. I was leaving on, on Sunday afternoon. Uh, you come home late. You know, that's the price to pay to have a managerial high paying job. So people just have to be aware of that reality and, and just make their own decisions on that. So I hope this was helpful. I will talk to you soon. Thanks.